government is meeting tomorrow, um, the 23rd of April, and you will get no doubt a report from Brendan Howland, the Minister for Public Expenditure and Reform, as to what the next steps are that he would be recommending. This was really an attempt by us to reduce the overall public sector pay bill. It wasn't as such about education mm. or about nursing or about guards, but they're all the people who are directly involved. Uh, and our teachers are the third highest paid in Europe. Um, they're worth the money, in my view, in many respects, uh, but the pay bill's too big. And we had to reduce the commencement pay for young teachers coming into the system. I'd like to see that change, but I want to do it in negotiation uh, with Can the public sector. Can you see sector. legislation being Well, it's far too early to even contemplate those things. The, 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 the recognition is getting our books balanced again, which we have to do as any normal operational company or business or even private individual has to do. You can't live beyond your means. And um, part and parcel of the adjustment was to get the public sector pay bill reduced. The private sector has already made the adjustment. Many people have either lost their jobs, in some cases they've also lost their pensions, uh, and many people who've kept their jobs have done so on the basis that they would take a, a significant reduction in their salaries. So we're, we're really making the same kind of ask to the public sector, and it was negotiated uh, by the unions. Crow Park is due to expire in 2014, and, but really I'll have to wait and hear, as indeed all my other cabinet colleagues will have to wait and hear what Brendan Howland has to say. What they have done, and I can understand why they have done it, because the school year is going to come to an end fairly soon. They are asking um, the teachers in the three different unions to consider giving authority to the executives of the three unions the right to, to initiate industrial reaction up and to and including strike action should that be necessary in the event of something happening. Uh, it's a precautionary uh, move that they've taken, understandably so from my point of view, uh, and nothing is on the table that would provoke such a reaction in reality.